In this video, I will quickly show you how you can access the file system of your universal robot remotely via an FTP connection. So the FTP connection, a file transfer protocol, is just a way of accessing a remote computer. In this case, it's a universal robot um, that has an open port for the FTP connection. And to do this, of course, we need to be connected to the robot and be in the same network as the robot. And the robot also needs a valid IP address. So in order to find your robot's IP address, you can go in the top right corner and um, click the About um, page. And here you should see the IP address of your robot. If you have an older series um, universal robot, a CB series universal robot, you can uh, simply click the universal robots logo in the top left and you will be presented with a similar screen. So in order to, um, to connect to the robot, you will need to have a uh, software or some sort of library for your programming language that you can use to, uh, yeah, to, to access FTP and especially SFTP. Um, in my case, I will be using FileZilla, which is a free and open source um, software that is available for um, all platforms and uh, that is quite versatile. But of course, there are many other softwares that have uh, very similar functionality. So when you're in your FTP software and um, in FileZilla, you'll be asked to uh, connect um, with these values. So you will have to set the host. And in our case, we will set the connection method, which is SFTP. Then we have colon and slash slash, and then the IP address of our robot. The username is usually root, unless you are connecting to a UR SIM. In that case, the username will be UR. And the password of your robot, unless you or someone else has uh, changed it on your robot, is usually EasyBot. So once you set these values, you can uh, quick connect and you might get a pop-up that asks you if you want to um, basically trust the connection. Um, and as long as you know that this is the, the file system, um, that you want to connect, and this is the, the actual robot that you want to connect, this should be fine. So now we have access to all of the files that are saved or that are present on the robot. Um, we have access to all the program files, but also to a lot of the internal um, system files. So make sure that you know what you're doing. Don't just go about and delete or copy or move um, important files. They might, um, it might, yeah, uh, it might cause your, your robot to not uh, work anymore. So in order to find our programs, we will have to go um, up uh, by one level in our directories. And we can do that by selecting the folder with the two dots next to it. And then we're on the, the um, basically yeah, base level of the file system. And here we will find a programs folder. And inside of that programs folder, you will find all of the programs that you have on your robot, which should be the same ones that you can find um, when you go on your robot um, and try to open or load a program. Um, here you can also find installation files. You can also find script files and text files that are usually um, saved for every URP file that you create on the robot. Um, and yeah, and here you can uh, very quickly organize, copy and backup um, all of the files that you need. There's one more thing that I want to show you. And that is, if you upload URP files to a robot, um, depending on how you created these URP files, they might have internalized um, scripts. And if you're sending very, very large URP files with very large internalized scripts, these scripts are copied. Um, they are basically internalized in the file. And when the program is opened, they are extracted by the robot and saved in another location. Um, and that is not the programs folder. Um, and if you have very large files, your um, your file system might actually fill up and your robot might actually run out of space if you do this over a long period of time. Um, so in order to find these files, you will have to go into the root folder and there you will find the GUI folder. And here you can find these extracted script files um, that might be yeah, filling up. So if you want to, to delete all of the files, also make sure to um, find the GUI folder um, and delete the script files that get copied to this location. Um, like I said, if they're very large, they might fill up your, your um, robot quite quickly. This is it. If you have any uh, questions, like I said, um, make sure you are 
you know what you're doing make sure you don't delete any files that you um, that you don't know why they're there what they're doing um, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and i will see you in the next video